Welcome back to another edition of Backyard Grilling with Walter. All right, today, folks, we're going to do a Kansas City style pulled pork. I'm just going to do a four pounder today. Um, let's head inside. Let's get this dry rub going and get this bad boy on the smoker. All right. All right, for your dry rub, very simple mixture, okay? All right, got it set out. We're going to do a quarter cup of brown sugar packed. All right. We're going to do two tablespoons of paprika, two tablespoons of chili powder, and one tablespoon of black powder. And here I got one tablespoon of white sugar. I've got two tablespoons of garlic powder and two tablespoons of onion powder. All right. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to blend this up and then I'm going to transfer it over into an empty seasoning bottle. That way, if I have some leftovers, I can use it on some pork steaks or something down the road. All right, I'm going to skip forward. All right, so the seasoning's all ground up. I put it in another container. That way I can use the leftovers for something in the future. You're also going to have some olive oil. All right, I use this as my binder, rub it all over. Uh, you could use mustard. You're not going to taste it or nothing. Uh, I prefer olive oil myself, but it's a personal preference. All right. Rub it, rub it, rub it. Okay. Pat it dry beforehand. Get all that, uh, moisture off of it. Wash it, you know, when it comes from the, uh, the store. So with this, I'm going to put a heavy amount on here. Okay. Pork is very lenient when it comes to a heavy rub. All right, that and once we're all said and done, we're going to shred it. So you're not going to get mouthfuls and mouthfuls of uh, seasoning. It's going to be split between the, the fat and the meat and juices that are on the inside of this bad boy. All right, have a set of paper towels nearby because this is going to get messy all over your hands. So don't be scared. Just rub it all over there. You want to get every square inch of this thing seasoned up. So it should look something like this when you're done. Okay. Now I'm just going to let this sit here and, uh, Get to room temperature a little bit and go outside, fire up the Oklahoma Joe Deluxe Rider Pellet Grill. We're going to get it up to 225 degrees and we're going to smoke it anywhere between uh, six to eight hours. So a good rule of thumb is 90 minutes per pound. This is four pounds. So we're looking at about 360 minutes, uh, six hours, but you never know because you're going to get that stall in the middle at some point. Let's go on outside. She's warmed up to 225 degrees. Let's put her on. So put her on the top shelf. That way it's not directly above the heat source. All right. I'm doing it fat cap up. That way as it cooks and the fat starts to render down, the juices can kind of spread over the top of it, give it that little bit of extra flavor. Now, I do, during the first four hours, spritz it with a vinegar and water. So I'm using an eighth of a cup vinegar, cane vinegar, and three quarters cup of water. What you're gonna do is just kind of spritz it all over, get the back side, all sides, just to show you as an example. <laughs> Close the lid and come back every hour, give it a little bit of spritz, close it. I'm gonna resume the video at the four hour mark. We'll probe her, see what the internal temperature is, see if it's stalling out, and we'll go from there. So I'm gonna sit back, have myself a nice cold Bud Light. Ah, and uh, let's enjoy it. So further ado, let's see what she looks like in four hours. Four hours has elapsed. We spritzed it with water and vinegar every hour. We'll check the internal temperature right now, we'll poke it in the middle, see what we got. Right now I'm reading 164, 65 is going up, I'll just let it sit for a second. 170, gonna check different spots. 
171. One sixty-seven. All right. We'll close the lid. Now with pulled pork, we get it up to an internal temperature of one ninety-five to two hundred degrees in there. So we're gonna let it go for another two hours. I'm not gonna wrap it. I'm just gonna let it sit and do its thing. All right. Um, it may stall. Hopefully it already got past that stall point at 160 degrees. It's at 170, so hopefully it only takes uh, another two hours. I'm gonna check it again in an hour, see where we're at. But 20 degrees, 25 degrees, I'm looking at about two hours. So we'll come back, check her out. Okay, it's been seven hours. We guessed about six, took seven. What you wanna do is you wanna stick your probe into it until it feels like butter, all right? Right now I'm reading uh, 201, 202. All right, so anywhere between 195 to 205 is where you want to take it off at. 200 seems to be the perfect temp. So let's slide this off and take a look at her. Oh yeah. There we have it, folks. You can see that. Nice purpley smoked pork butt. Let's move inside and uh, I'm gonna let this sit for 20 minutes and then we're gonna shred her up. All right, so we let this bad boy sit for 20 minutes. So if you have some bear claws, you can try them out. I'm probably gonna end up doing this with my fingers for the most part once we get down in there. But I just wanna shred it open so you let you see the goodness, all right. Kansas City style pulled pork. Oh my God, so, so good. All right, so I'm not gonna show you everything, but you just wanna kinda pull it apart. It's really, really hot, so be careful when you do do this. Good, good stuff. Put it on some bread, some uh, onion rolls in the morning, throw it in some omelets. Do whatever it is you want to do, but perfect, perfect pulled pork, Kansas City style. Mmm. Oh, yeah. So good. Till next time, folks.